I'm Zach. You might remember me as that guy who made that really intensive investigative video about the Jonas Brothers that one time. I used to work at Disney World for this special little show you might have heard of. It's called Fantasmic. Whenever you're working at Fantasmic, the first half of your day really consists of either setting up the house or super greeting on the streets of Sunset Boulevard. You essentially answer guests' questions. It's normally where's the nearest restaurant. And you could also do fun activities. This could be either blowing bubbles or hula hooping. Or you could be like me, Austin, and Kayla and do Disney trivia. We would have these character cards and they would be Simba, Mickey, Ursula, and we would have these pre-planned questions for them. Kids would love it, adults would love it, they would win stickers, and nobody hates Disney stickers. But it wasn't always easy. This is a big shocker, but apparently, People don't like getting quizzed on vacation. So one day it was just me with the trivia cards and I was standing next to the Planet Hollywood store and this mom, a baby in a stroller and her, it looks like seven year old son, he's wearing a Lego Ninjago t-shirt and he comes up to me and he asks what I'm doing. And I tell him it's a trivia game. If he gets three questions correct, he'll be able to win a sticker. So I asked him which character he knew the most about. And he keeps looking back and forth at all the different Disney characters. And it goes on for a little too long. He then looks up at me and he asks, do you know any questions about The Incredibles? Listen here, kid. I saw The Incredibles opening night, 2004, in theaters. I saw The Incredibles on ice. The Incredible Family is taking a super vacation. Of course I've got Incredibles questions. So I start out with easy questions. You know, kind of like AR quizzes to second graders. What does Edna Mode not want her superheroes to wear? Capes. What does Dash put on his teacher's chair? Attack. And then I ask a semi-difficult one. What is Syndrome's real name? Lego Ninjago Kid says, Buddy, but he likes to be called Incrediboy. My name is Incrediboy. Oh, okay. Apparently this kid is an Incredibles genius. So I give him a sticker, and then he asks me, Do you have any more questions? Like it's some kind of personal challenge now. First it was all fun and games, but now it's straight up who wants to be a millionaire for this kid. What proceeds is just a giant dumpster of Incredibles trivia. And this all really happened. Who's the first supervillain that Mr. Incredible fights? What part in the car does Mr. Incredible break? What's the password on Syndrome's computer? What does the little kid on the tricycle say at the end of the movie? Bon voyage. The window. Kronos. That was totally wicked! And he just keeps getting more and more stickers. His poor mom is just on a nearby bench with a stroller, probably regretting this Lego Ninjago kid watching the movie so many times. I keep pulling and pulling stickers out of my pocket, and then I realize I have a Sorcerer Mickey sticker. These stickers are meant to be for the Sorcerer's Apprentice families at Fantasmic, so it's a big, big deal. I think to myself, this has to be a hard question. Lego Ninjago Kid has proven that he's seen the movie many, many times. What question would be so obscure, so specific, so absolutely out of nowhere? And then it hits me. I hold up the Sorcerer Mickey sticker in my hand. When Syndrome is fighting the robot at the end of the movie, the people in the city mistake him for another superhero. No, no, I'm a new superhero. Who is that superhero. The wheels in his head start turning. I can see Lego Ninjago Kid replaying the movie in his head. He had that same look on his face that Jimmy Neutron has whenever he has a brain blast. And it goes on and on, and I feel like I finally stumped him until he finally blurts out, Phyronic. Is that Phyronic? Phyronic? No, Phyronic has a different outfit. He earned that Sorcerer Mickey sticker that day. No one else deserved it more. This Lego Ninjago Kid is a certified master of the Incredibles. But whenever Lego Ninjago Kid blurted out Phyronic, that's when it all hit me. I was talking to a mini Zack that entire time. I was the kind of kid that would watch movies over and over again. This kid pretty much reminded me of myself when I was his age. And whenever you work for Disney, it doesn't matter if you are in attractions or entertainment or food and bed or custodial, you have the chance to make magic with anything. Even if it's the small things like rewarding trivial knowledge with Mickey stickers. Here's my ideal ending for the story though. The year is 2068. I am 72 years old. The place that was once known as Hollywood Studios is now 95% Star Wars and 5% miscellaneous. I see a cast member working where that Planet Hollywood store used to be, and he's got character cards. He's playing trivia. It's the Lego Ninjago Kid all grown up.
I proceed to go up to him in my ECV, running over other cast members' feet in the process, and I go up to him, and I ask, do you have any questions about The Incredibles? If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Ooh, that still feels weird to say. Anyway, thanks for watching.